trash. Why do I always let my friends convince me to go to these things? All I get are these sleazeballs asking, can I touch your wings? Holy crap, you're a half dragon, how exotic. Ugh, can't believe people at these frat parties. Wait, who's that Neko standing in the corner? Haven't seen them around before. They look nervous and cute. Well, if anything, it'll be more fun talking to them than any of these creeps. <laughs> Let's go say hi. Hey there, cutie. What brings you to a place like this? Wow, what a way to start a conversation. What do you want? I just want to talk. You seem more friendly than anyone else here, even after that comment. So why would a neko like you be at a party like this? If you're just going to stay in the back corner sipping a vodka soda? Is that what that is? Party's over there, you know. Friends dragged you here? Oh, I see. Yeah, mine did too. I always wanted to say no, but they always somehow managed to talk me into it. Say things like, You gotta get out more. You gotta find new people. I'm happy by myself. Well, most of the time. And it's not like they're suggesting outstanding people. Gosh. They're like walking sewage. What about you? What are your friends uh, bringing you here for? Oh, ho, ho. they want you to find someone to date. Oh, wait, at a frat party. <laughs> Hell, if you can do that, I mean, look at the time. They're doing keg stands. That doesn't exactly scream relationship potential. But hey, maybe someone will come up to you and uh, you'll hit it off. Maybe someone like me. <laughs> Though I have to know, am I the only one who's approached you or are you getting swarmed by randos too? Honestly, I'd be pretty surprised if you've been here alone this entire time. You're way too cute. Oh, you're blushing. Is that just the alcohol, or do you like getting teased? Ah, it's only the alcohol. Mm-hmm, sure. Sure it is. Still didn't answer my question. <sighs> Everyone who's approached you just wanted to pet you? Ugh, gross. I know that feeling being a half-human, and suddenly everyone wants to just touch you for no reason. Like, ever heard of personal space? I admit, though, your ears are quite fluffy. <laughs> You're very welcome. Anyways, I was thinking about leaving. Not much for me to do here except get drunk and get harassed by strangers. And I'd hate for you to have the same fate. So how about this? You come over to my place. We watch the movies. It'll be quieter than here. And if you decide you can leave, I'll walk you back to your dorm. How does that sound? Sound good? <laughs> Great. Anyway, I'm Sudu. What's your name? Ooh. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Let's, uh, let's get out of this hellhole, yeah? Does it make it a date? <laughs> I don't know. You're a smart cookie. I'm sure you can figure that out. But anyway, we're here now. Yeah, I share this place with three others, but they're all at that party we just left, so 
It'll just be the two of us for tonight. Aw, does that make you nervous? Now why would that be? Come on. I'm not that intimidating. Well, I am a fair bit taller than you and half dragon, so I can sort of see that. <laughs> but I'm not scary, I promise. <clears throat> Besides, why would I want to hurt an adorable little thing like you? Oh. <laughs> This has been so much fun. You're not used to being flirted with, are you? Yeah, it's pretty obvious. Anyway, couch or bed? You choose. There's a TV for both. Taking the couch? Aw, but it'll be harder for us to cuddle. <laughs> but luckily, I got a tail to wrap you up with. <laughs> Come here. There we go. Oh, you're nuzzling me. Now, you're a bit tipsy, aren't you? Wouldn't expect someone as shy as you to suddenly become so bold. Uh, you know, if you're a little touchy feely right now we could just cuddle instead of watching some movies might be a bit more enjoyable for both of us <laughs> which spoon would you be oh well obviously little spoon oh don't pout I've wanted to hold you and squeeze you since I saw you at the party. Also, I'm a head taller than you. You'd be like a little jetpack to me. And I can wrap you up so much more. Wrap you up like a little burrito. Neko burrito? A burrito. <laughs> come on, come here. There we go. My wings around your chest. Tail coiled around your legs. Arms wrapped around your waist. And you're mine. And you can't get out. <laughs> oh, jeez. Don't wriggle so much. Do you not like being cuddled up like this? Oh, you're just... Getting comfortable. Okay. I was getting worried for a second. Um. So, um. I know I said earlier how I hated how people just want to touch half humans because they're unique, but. Um. Can I. Pet you? Because, like. Y you just look so. And you're headbutting me. I'll take that as a, a yes, please. <laughs> Looks like I finally got lucky for once. Found a diamond in the sewers of frat parties. Oh, you feel the same? Aren't you glad saying that just because you're tipsy? Getting scritchies? Or do you really mean it? All three? <laughs> I figured. I don't think I ever want to let you go. I'll just squeeze you as tight as I can. <laughs> Do you want to maybe stay the night? Oh, oh, hey. That was an enthusiastic, yeah? Well, how about we move upstairs, go to the bedroom, and we can get really comfy. How does that sound? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> I'll race ya.
And good morning to you too. Not a morning person, I'm I'm guessing. Oh, come on. Don't squeeze me tighter. I have class in like thirty minutes. Fine. We can cuddle a little bit longer. Can't speak yet? Huh? Must be a little hungover from last night. You know, if you let go of me, I'd be able to get you some water, but no. You just want to just pull me in tighter. In tighter. Gosh, you're a cuddly thing, aren't you? I'm warm. Aw, are you cold? Here, let me wrap my wings around you. There we go. Better? <laughs> Jeez, I I love the winter. Can't cuddle can't cuddle like this during the uh summer. Gets way too hot. Hey, how about some scritchies? Would you like some of those too? <laughs> yeah, that that feels good, doesn't it? I'm just softly purring away without a care in the world. Now come on. I gotta get up and ready for class. What about you? Well, you don't have things to do today? Huh. Lucky. Anyway, you can't just spend all day with me. I gotta go, eventually. Oh, I know. Life's not fair, is it? Though, it's pretty cute how you want to spend time with me. I really enjoyed our time last night. And maybe we could go on a second date. We could get lunch this uh, afternoon, if you're down. What? Yeah, last night was a date. A very simple date. Kind of, sort of, not really a date. Well, I mean, they were romantic uh, intentions. So that's all that matters. Did you not guess that from the extensive flirting and cuddling? <laughs> wow. If that's what told you friendship was, then yeah, I've got to get friends like yours. Because pl cause, uh, platonic cuddles sound awesome. <laughs> yeah, I like you in the special way. You lack so much confidence, and honestly, I think it's something to work on for you. Because though it's adorable, you need to break out of that shy shell you have. I can't always be there for you taking over for things. I want you to be able to make decisions for yourself. Okay, at least you're confident in other aspects. But... Dating is different? How so? How would I ever get disappointed... I mean, if I told you stories of some people I've dated, you'd realize just how much of a catch you are. And even if you are sometimes painfully shy. I'm glad that you're not shy in all aspects of your life, but if we're going to continue whatever this is, I'm going to want you to work on that. Oh? How about this? You choose where we get lunch from. And trust me, there's no wrong choice of food. I'll eat just about anything. You know it'd be nice if you look at me instead of just talking into my chest. You're mumbling way too much. How is it hard to make eye contact? Oh no, are you that shy? Aww, hon. That makes me feel so conflicted. Because on one hand, that's just simply too adorable. 
But on the other hand, you absolutely need help with confidence. Can't go through life always looking away from people. I know it's hard, but you trust me, right? At least a little bit. Okay, then detach yourself from me. <laughs> there you go. Now slowly tilt your head up. And... There. See? Not so bad, is it? Okay. It was that bad. But you did it. And I'm very proud of you for doing that. Such a good kitty, yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. I shouldn't say that. Should I? Is it offensive? Oh, no. Uh, uh, you're okay with it. Are you sure? I'd hate to be giving you nicknames that make you uncomfortable. I mean, I can call you Sweetie if you'd like, or Hun, or Cutie. You're definitely all those things. Oh no, I'm teasing you too much again. <laughs> You're hiding your face under the blankets. Did you just say keep going? Oh no, you really do like being teased, don't you? You know, for someone so shy, you certainly do enjoy the hell out of it, don't you? You aren't that shy. Wait, does that mean... This entire time you were just wanting me to tease you? And flirt with you? Oh, honey. I asked you a question. You're a sneaky little thing, I admit. <laughs> but you didn't have to trick me into flirting with you. I enjoy doing that enough. Your blushing is simply too adorable. <laughs> anyway, I have to get up and get dressed. It's quite a walk to my next classes. No, not the kitty eyes. The pouting... Ugh, fine, I'll stay with you and cuddle up with you a little longer. Only because I love hearing your purr. <laughs> but, okay, just a little longer. Okay, come on, that's it. I said a little. <laughs> what if I give you a kiss? Yeah? Alright. <laughs> what? That wasn't enough for you? Alright. <sighs> Alright. I gotta go now. I'll see you when I get back, okay? Alright, bye bye. That. That certainly was a class. Gosh, I barely understood anything. Calc 2 was fine, but why, oh, why did I think taking Calc 3 was a good idea? It'll help me prepare for future courses. And I'm stuck wondering why the hell a surface integral is. Gosh. Homework is going to be hell if I try to get through. I wonder what my little Neko is doing. I wonder what they've come up with. Uh, why are you still in my bed? Do you just never leave? Too comfy. I mean, I... I do have a lot of pillows and blankets, but like, I thought you would have been gone after I left. Or at the very least, be awake. Seriously, aren't you in like, a super competitive program? You should be using this time to study or do homework or something, not just sleeping. Oh, you have the cutest yawns. But we had a lunch date planned, didn't we? 
If you'd like, we could go do that now if you didn't want to spend some time working first. And another yawn. Gosh, you're adorable when you sleep like this. You look so happy curled up underneath all those blankets. But please, it's too late in the day for you to be sleeping. Five more minutes. Hun, you've been asleep since I left, which is about an hour and a half ago. For such a bright thing like you, you should be applying yourself. And not just sleeping on your days off. Besides, you can sleep forever. Okay, maybe you can sleep forever. But not today. Alright? Where's the bright eye and bushy tail Neko from yesterday? That was so eager to spend time with me. So, you want to get up and show me that? I know, so mean. How can I wake up such a precious little thing like you? All snuggled up away and purring so happily. But seriously, you're getting out of the bed. Now. Oh no. I'm not coming back to bed with you. If I do that, I'll never want to leave. Cuddling with you is a death trap. You're just a... You're just gonna curl against my chest and... You'll start purring oh so preciously. Just like the little thing you are. Hmm. All snuggled up and purring away happily. <sighs> <sighs> Please, just get up. There you go. Stretch and yawn all like that. Waking up at 11 a.m. must be so hard, isn't it? <laughs> I'm teasing. Anyway, did you come up with some place to eat? Sushi. <laughs> what? Nothing, just... A little on the nose is... In a certain sense. You know, I'm a little surprised that you were actually able to come up with a place to eat. I know I asked you to, but I figured you would still be umming and ahhing. By the time we got together. I know, I know. I should put more faith into you. Just, I don't know. I'm still thinking about you as a shy kitten hiding in the corner and not the bold Neko leading the way. Good change, but different. Just wait till adrenaline wears off. <laughs> you don't have to be nervous. This is supposed to be relaxing and fun, not some test. No, oh, come on. What happened to I'm not that shy? That was a lie. Wait, I'm confused. You didn't want to disappoint me in, in, in what way? Why don't you want to tell me? Now you're just being difficult. Hun, stop for a second. You don't have to be secretive with me, you know? I found you at the edge of a party. I know that you're at least a little bit shy. And a little quiet and reserved. And that's okay. You don't have to be super extroverted all the time. Or even any of the time. Just, I want to understand who you are. Sweetheart, I told you. I find you adorable, precious, and a million other things. No matter how outgoing you are, it doesn't really matter to me. I 
when I asked you to work on being more confident, I didn't say that your personality was wrong, or that I didn't like it, or whatever, I just, I wanted you to feel more comfortable in your own skin, for your own sake. What? No, I'm not asking you to change your personality for me. It was always just me wanting you to be comfortable and confident in your own way. Have people tried to change that in you before? Oh no, hon, that's not what I'm trying to do at all. No matter how you feel, it's valid, okay? If you're feeling bold, that's great. If you'd rather stay back for a little bit, that's okay too. I just... I remember when I was scared and quiet one who hung around the edges of parties, praying someone would talk to me. Most of the time, I just ended up leaving because the noise bothered me. Slowly, I got more used to being around people and found that I enjoy people's company. If that ends up happening to you, that's great. If not, well, it's not a bad thing either. It's just who you are. You don't have to pretend to do something for me. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry that I was coming off in that way. Um, will you forgive me? <laughs> yeah, I'll pay for lunch today. Oh, hey there, cutie. How you doing today? Oh, you look a little sleepy. Did did I wake you up? Oh, hon, you told me you were going to stop sleeping so much. I know you enjoy it, but I also know you're using it as an excuse to avoid work at the same time. You have to be taking your studies more seriously. Yeah, I know you're smart, and incredibly smart, and can probably get away with not working for now, but I promise you'll eventually have to get to a point where you can't skate through it so easily, and it'll be nothing but pain if you're not used to trying. Believe me, I used to be like that in high school. First year of uni. Hit Calicus, bam, instant fail. I ended up needing to take it again. And I don't want the same fate to happen to you, babe. Still insisting you're fine. <sighs> you know what? I was on my way to get food and stopped by to ask if you want to join me. But I think I have to come in and force you to study. Nope. Uh-uh. I'm not having it. We're, we're doing this. I'm not going to let you fall in the same trap I did. I cared too much about you to let that happen. Also, I think I have a way to... convince you. What is it? <laughs> oh, you'll, you'll find out soon enough. Well, are you going to let me in, or am I going to have to scoop you up and let myself in? Yes, I'm referring to the fact that I'm significantly taller than you and stronger than you. Now, you're going to let me in, and we're going to study. You got it? Thank you. That's a good kitty. Hey, you got a pretty nice setup here. Your bed certainly looks comfy. That's for sure. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not gonna bait me into cuddles right now. Maybe after a little treat for you. Anyways, come here. Sit on my lap. Oh, yes, you are. I need to make sure you're doing your work. So what better way than if I'm right behind you? Oh, you don't want to? Now, why would that be? I thought you liked being cuddled up with me. It's not embarrassing. Besides, there aren't any other chairs in here. 
It's not like I can sit beside you. Lay down on the bed. Hmm. Yeah. Gonna pass. I think this will be more fun. Come on. Sit down. I promise I'll make it comfy for you. There you go. See? It's not so bad, is it? Now, what work have you been putting off? <sighs> Are there any big projects or papers due soon? Okay. That's good. You'll have at least another month until they're due. What about homework? Any of that? You... Are you lying to me? You really have nothing to do. Mm hmm. You sure about that? So you wouldn't mind me looking through these folders you have labeled homework, would you? No. Oh, wow. Well then, uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, of course. Because you're a good kid and you wouldn't lie and try to get out of working. Would you? Oh. Some math homework, you say? Hmm. Very convenient memory you have there. Well. Get to work. I'll just... Wrap my wings around you and keep you warm. You know, that really didn't take as long as I thought I was going to. I thought you had put off way more work than you actually did. Yeah, yeah, I, I owe you an apology. You do worry me sometimes, though. I just want to make sure that you weren't falling behind. And making up for it with amazing test grades. Anyway, anyway, I'm I'm sorry for not putting much faith in you. Yeah, that, that that's right. I did promise you a reward, and I think you can guess what it is. <laughs> How'd you know I was gonna offer some cuddles? Oh. You really are a smart cookie, aren't you? Hey, jeez, you're awfully clingy today, aren't you? You're squeezing me so tightly. Yeah, it's been a while since we just laid down and cuddled together. I've... I've really missed it. Your fur is always so... Oh, so soft. Oh, and it makes me so tired. It's so soft and warm, and I just love it so much. And your bed, oh my goodness, it's so much comfier than mine. And the blankets, they're so much fluffier and cozier than mine, too. Oh, <laughs> aww, there you go. You can squeeze me as tight as you want. Uh, oh, you're headbutting me. What is it you want? You want some pets? Some screechies? You know, if you want something, you have to use your words. Uh huh. Of course, I'll give you some pets. After all, you did do your work like a good little kitty. <laughs> That's it. Hmm? Is this the spot you really like? Or maybe even over here? <laughs> You're pairing up a storm now, aren't you? Hey, I didn't say it was a bad thing. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And honey... Your smile is just simply too precious. How could I ever not like that? I really miss doing this with you, though. Seeing you smile like this makes me so happy. 
you know, it, school has been getting so hectic, making me tired recently, and I haven't really had the time to see you, and I'm sorry I haven't been over recently. Hopefully this helps make up for the time I've missed from you. Hey, you're not listening to me one bit, are you? <laughs> That's okay. I'm just happy you're enjoying yourself. You know, I think I'll order us some delivery. Something tells me you'd like me to keep petting you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's so cute.